I think the only thing I missed is the technical SEO setup. So let me just explain that and what's happening. When you search something on Google, search something, literally, you see this title, you see this URL, this part is the slug, and it's the meta description. Google also takes, that creates their own description by looking at your page, but you write one as a default. So how do I uh, tell Google, here's what you need to look at. It's actually quite simple. Inside the page, let's take the home page for instance. I click on the settings wheel and now it lets me set SEO settings title. Let's say this is uh, how to build a webflow log home. And this is the, this, the title is this. And learn how to in a matter of hours. How much time did it's just been one hour of hours? Pray, 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 stream. Okay, so that's the SEO part title and meta title and description. Now, remember Open Graph, which is this image. Open Graph also needs this title and description. You can simply say in the Open Graph settings, use the same as the SEO title, use the same as the SEO meta description. And here in the image, you can create a custom image and add it. So I already have an image uh, and Webflow, let me just save this. Webflow lets me upload images here. So let's use this new uh, button in the window called Assets. Uh, the adorable asset is already there. So I'm just gonna upload a new one. I'm gonna upload this. And this is only because it's a static page. We are doing it this way. So I'll select here, I'll copy this link, go back to the page, click on settings. In this open graph settings, in the open graph URL, paste the link, it'll show me a preview. Great, works. Uh, I'll just, and I'll just show you this in action right now. Now, if I go here to meta tags and test it, how to build a Webflow blog, home, learn how to build a Webflow blog in minutes, free, free, live, free live stream, and this meta image. Image is not in the right proportions. That's why it looks like this, but you get the drift. Everything works. We want to do the same thing for the other pages. We want to do it for the blog page. So let's say uh, blogs about life, living, loving, building. Uh, I don't know what I'm writing anymore. Blog. This is my blog. Check it out. It's not really necessary to put like fancy or SEO optimized keywords here for this blog page. You just want to make sure it's very intuitive when somebody sees the link or if somebody shares it with someone else and the preview that will show up in WhatsApp or in, the, in social media, previews look something good enough. This is not a good preview, but I'm just setting the point. The other other parts like same as SEO title, same as meta description, uh, it's already set, save. So if I publish and I check the blog page, uh, it'll work. I haven't published yet, so let's see what it says before that. Hmm. Webflow puts some basic, like all blog posts, but there's no description and there's no image. And now I'm gonna publish this website again. Let's try it again. There you go, blogs about living, loving. This is my description and I didn't set an image in this case, so there's nothing. Okay. Similarly, I want these blog posts to also have their own metadata uh, so that when it shows up here on Google or if somebody shares it, there is some, uh, like how I showed you here, there is some data that shows up. All right, and how to do that is, it's quite simple again, click on settings. By now, I think you know. In this case, I'm not even gonna type out a title tag. I'm just simply gonna say, take the name of the blog post and set that as the meta title. And maybe you'll call it at the end, your name's blog. So this is the static text which will get added in every uh, page. You, If you want to, uh, in my case, I think, yeah, it's there, this part. Uh, this is the static part, and this is the name of the blog post itself. Uh, so you can do this. And in the description, remember we had a field called meta description. Just put meta description here, done. And, oh yeah, I missed the field, sorry. I missed open graph, same as SEO title, same as 
description. In this case, since it's a, it's a CMS generated page, I can select an image from the CMS. And remember, I created something called post image. So I'll just select it. Whatever is the post image will become the open graph image. Let's publish. Look at this. There you go. And let's check it out here. Done. Uh, this is as much SEO as you need to, technical SEO as you need to do. Apart from this, you would want to connect your website to Google Analytics uh, and also go to the search console on Google and claim this website as your own. It's a There's going to be some process here itself which will show you how to do it. But go and claim this website, uh, your website as your own, after you publish it to your custom domain. And that way, data will start flowing in. Google will recognize this website. It will index it very quickly enough. And it'll also start showing you data on where are people coming from? What are the keywords that they are typing when they show up on your website? But yeah, uh, this is enough for you to get started.